Hey, what's up guys, Fried Egg here, and this is going to be a quick, as quick as I can make it video uh, explaining um, the dashboard here and uh, deck editing, the store, um, and just to point out a couple things, um, uh, some of the first bits of social have been added, added today. Um, you can now have friends, uh, you can have chats with them. Um, like that, you can chat. The, I could chat the Creed Craft, or I could chat the Molten. You know. Hi. Um, but that's the, the social's not done yet. They're still doing things. Uh, you still can't queue up with pre-made teams. They're working on that. <laughs> um. Yeah. So yeah, I see Molten sucking back to me. Uh, just making a. Oh, I can't type at all. Just making a vid showing people the chat system um so to add a friend you click add a friend and type friend and yeah there's no friend so unknown account uh, if you knew their name you could add them so that's real quick uh the next thing i want to talk about is whether you're a founder or a new player or um whatever the case is um here right here is your kind of like your your account stats uh it shows me i'm level 20 that's the avatar i have i have selected for my uh icon um i currently have 240 gold because i spent pretty much all of it uh i have i have 1500 skulls left and uh everyone has 2100 giblets um which are not usable yet um Here's a, here's a rundown of uh, the level unlocks. I've unlocked all this stuff already, and there's a breakdown of what it does. It tells you right there. Uh, the ones I have not unlocked, it tells you what they are and what level it, it takes to get to it. Um, if you're curious about that kind of stuff, uh, you know, so basically, uh, uh, you know, what getting to a certain level rewards you with. Um, we'll get more into that, but uh, I was going to say about the giblets, this is not a part of the game yet. Uh, they're going to, they're going, it's going to be added at some point soon. Uh, we'll talk more about that. But for now, if you're a brand new, brand new founder, uh, you're going to have gold. And even if you, even if you don't have gold and you're just playing with a free beta account, you're going to be accumulating skulls. Uh, and, and even if you're not accumulating skulls, you want to buy gold, you're going to have to come here to the store, which is the cart you see here. All right. So um, we're talking about this first because I think. Uh, initially, this is one of the first things you're going to be doing, even as you're leveling up or as you, if you want to just buy gold. You're going to come here to the store. Um, they're always going to show you the feature stuff they have going on as far as uh, heroes, uh, founders packs, uh, different uh, different skins, gold, and all that stuff. So, um, card packs. So, if you look at gold... Um, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure there is, you know, I love robot, but I believe there's, okay, well, here's, here's, where, here's the only two, two where you get any kind of discount, um, is by buying either $50 or a hundred dollars worth of gold. Those are the only times you see, you receive any sort of discount. But as you can see, this gold here, a hundred dollars of gold, a hundred dollars, you get 28,000 gold. I believe the $150 founder pa founders pack, you get like 140,000 gold. You get a lot. So the founder right now, the founders packs are way more lucrative as far as getting um, gold. So just so you guys know that, um, can you look at the founders packs here? You know, they, they flash across the thing. These arrows don't work yet. Some stuff doesn't work yet. See the founders packs. I can't. Yeah. See if you, for a hundred and, uh, 150 bucks, you get a lot more gold uh, than 150. But anyway, so heroes, here's the heroes, which you can either use gold or skulls to buy new heroes that you don't have yet. Um, so uh, skulls you earn, similar to like IP in League of Legends, why just playing matches you earn so much, so many skulls per each match. Um, and, and when you accumulate enough, you can buy heroes or skins which are here which are also um these are only gold uh, sorry you can't use skulls for them um but you can use uh skulls and gold for card packs booster packs so um here's the here here they are uh there's no 
no savings for um for buying uh buying uh more card packs but you do get the um you do get bonus jibs as you see the bonus jibs um bonus jibs are the extra thing you get for buying more um than than just buying uh, the smaller packs or individual uh, card packs so you, there's no cost in savings in in uh in skulls or gold but you do get bonus jibs for buying the more expensive packs so that is the one bonus there so talking about cards um i don't i don't have any right now unfortunately but here's what here's what here's what would happen so let's say you buy the 40 card pack bundle all right we're done in the store we bought we bought our cards we're going to come back up here and this right here is your deck inventory so you're going to click this left click it and the default page is your heroes these are all the heroes i have i currently have all of them all right and i got multiples of some and we'll talk we'll talk about giblatizing again once uh we get on that topic um and currently boosts are not in vanities are in i you can see all the skins i have these are the uh uh, enchanted armors for these four heroes, the Bromage, Sorceress, Hogarth, and Ivy. Um, those are from being the Master Founder. And these uh, God Plunder Hogarth and Valkyrie Ivy, I bought those with gold. Um, and the Blood Queen and Night's Watch, those were just added today. Uh, uh, enchanted armor, Black Paul is uh, from a Founder's Pack, and uh, Paul of the Dead, Black Paul, I also uh, paid for with gold. Um, as you can see, one, one thing I'll talk on quickly, uh, all these skins you can also get from from booster packs. All the cards you can get in booster packs, just to be clear about that. Um, purple signifies mythical. Blue signifies rare. Uh, then there's uh, uncommon and then common for the... the and I'll show you guys the, the, the corresponding... Uh, uh, gem colors on the cards uh, collection doesn't that tab doesn't work yet boost doesn't work yet um, card packs if I did buy uh, 40 cards in the store I would come here and I would have a stack of cards I would have a you know look a card pack and I would have a, a 40 next to it you click it um, it opens up six cards face down and then you have to click each individual one to turn it around and see what it is uh, I believe the card, the way the card packs are working now, you're guaranteed one, uh, one rare, rare meaning, uh, I believe, uncommon or better, uncommon, rare or mythical, counts as rare, I believe. Um, so, once you open your cards, you're going to come here to your deck editor. Out of the box, I believe you, yeah, I believe you get. Um, well, we don't have to. Actually, we don't have to um, theorize that. We can go look. Yeah, so you need to get to level two um, to access the deck builder and a free pack of um, a free booster pack. So as you're leveling up, you're getting free cards besides what you need the besides buying booster packs from skulls and, and gold. You 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 get. Um, so once you're level two, you access the deck builder and a free card pack. And then level three is when you get a uh, slot for a custom deck. So let's go talk about that because that's that's when this deck editor starts to matter. Okay, so this was my first. Well, I, this is called my first deck, but this was actually the first one I unlocked. Um, but we'll click my first deck just for because that's what it says. Okay, so let's say we hit level three. We've unlocked our first deck. Um, actually, I'm going to use one of these because I don't feel like messing up the messing up my my other decks and um okay so here's what an empty uh, empty deck looks like empty custom deck uh i have i have unlocked uh, some extra slots for, for my that you'll have when you're first level three but um you get the gist of it here uh anything with a lock next to it means you don't have that slot yet if you if you mouse over it it tells you uh when it unlocks so there's some clipping there that's probably level I don't know what level that is. That's, that's wrong. Um, it says level one, but it's not right. Uh, yeah, this, this, this unlocks level 23. I'll get that. 
26, so on. It tells you when they're, they're going to unlock. So, uh, you have your, if you click here, you have your full card inventory of all the cards in your, in your, in your collection. Uh, this inventory space is unlimited. You can have a million cards in here. There's no cap right now. Uh, and I doubt there ever will be because why would they not want you to be able to buy as many cards as you want? So that's your whole inventory. But when you're, when you're assigning specific things, so in this case, we're going to assign a gear slot card. Okay. Uh, you click the gear slot button for this and it gives you uh, a filter where it's just showing you the pieces of gear that you can put into at the first is just going to be this slot and i think at level uh 18 or 16 or something you unlock the second gear slot so uh for just for, i'm going to put the uh teleportation ring and the physical war those are two of the better ones right now oh uh before we get too deep into all the individual things uh let me go back out here okay it took me a couple days to get the full understanding of the cards um, and, and the numericals. So, as you can see here, you can see you're seeing all the individual cards, and you're seeing these little times or whatever uh, in the bottom right corners of the cards. Okay, so uh, this is representing for the brimstone. This represents I I have seven of those cards. Arrow, I have twelve of those cards. Nine, you know, sixteen. All right, it's pretty simple. Um, the significance of that is uh, specifically for, well, really for every card, but specific, more importantly for trap cards and uh, minion cards is what was when these numbers start to uh, be a little bit more important because of gear. Gear, you only need one and you're good. But traps, um, so right now my trap loadout, we'll just go to it. I could bring, we'll just do that, all right? Those are all the traps I can bring. I can't bring along any more different traps than, than what's right there. Now, the thing you need to take in consideration is um, you need to have a useful quantity of those trap cards in your inventory to make them worthwhile of bringing along with you and i'll try to i'm going to explain that so uh you can only lay down so many traps no matter what when you're in a match but um let me scroll down and see see if i can have one for example okay let's take that off and put on the glory the glory seeker so this particular trap i only have two of these so I can only like and I'll give you another example. Let's here let's do this so it makes more sense. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. Um here, real low numbers that. Alright. And let's do that. Okay. So now that I brought these traps, um I can put down Two of those, because I have two cards. If you put down two of those, that's four. Put down three of those, seven. And four boulder shoes is 11. So out of these four cards, I can only, my maximum amount of traps I can put down is only 11 because I have, a, I only have a certain amount of, of those cards in my inventory. But then you get to the um, the pounders, which you can see here, I have 16 in my whole, my whole inventory. Um, I can bring the max for any trap you can bring is 10. So, um, you know, this, this would be the trap I could put the most of down after all these run out. But the idea is here, guys, um, you want to have a use, a useful number of, of those cards in your inventory to bring them along. So like I probably, I wouldn't, I, I never bring these cause I only have two where I, the, the traps that I normally bring, let's look at my first deck, which is the one I always bring, uh, current, are you sure you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. This is the deck I always bring, and I'll, I'll go into some details as to why things are the way they are. Uh, I have the Concussive Pounder. I have I had the max number of those, so like that's a and that's a good trap. It's a good price. It does good damage. Um, I could put a lot of them down. 
Then the next highest, uh, I have six total of the uh, Frost Arrow Wall, which is a really good trap. Um, I have six uh, Tesla coils and or zappers from Works Must Die 1 and 2, which are probably the best trap in the game. Uh, I only have three wall blades and five brimstones, but these are more expensive traps, especially the brimstone. And uh, they're very powerful. Like, even only having three of these in my deck, it's still worth bringing. But the point is here, guys, early on, um, like, especially early on, like, if you only have uh, one zapper and, you know, one of these, those might not be good choices to bring with you. You want to have you want to have enough inventory available to you while you're in the match to make it worth worthwhile being there. You know, if you can only put down one of each of these, you're only going to have five traps down. You know, if, if you only have one of each, so just be be mindful of you need you need you need a decent amount of of of, of a trap card in your inventory to be able to play enough traps while you're in the match, and with with ten being the max and that. Obviously, being the ideal amount you would want for every trap, you wanted you would want to have just the most, just in case, you know. So, um, so that's traps. Now let's go to go back to this deck so we can see stuff. All right, so gear traps is covered. Um, we'll talk about glyphs, which I believe you unlock at like level nine, maybe. So when you unlock your first set of glyphs, so. The glyphs. Uh, if you haven't, if this is your first video watch, you're watching about Orcs Must Die Unchained. Uh, glyphs are um, you use them to buff your minions, and you have uh, minor glyphs, and then you have uh, glyphs or major. Like I guess you could say minor and major for for just to kind of keep it easy. Um, and some glyphs can only be put at the uh, the right at the camp and then other glyphs are the only able to be put at the uh, secondary spots after the enemy kill box to uh either like the glyph of healing you put after the enemy kill box to heal your minions back up after they've taken damage um so glyphs can be used to either offensively or defensively buff your minions heal them um so they right now they only help minions. They don't do anything to help hero characters. So that's a quick little rundown on, on minion uh, the glyph cards. Uh, next over here is weavers. You don't you I think you unlock the these at uh, I think the first one's also around level ten. Uh, maximum is three slots to bring with you, and they have four weavers in the game. So uh, kind of like. Um, which we call it? Uh, Orcs must die. One and two. You had the three. Kind of. I think you had Jane, Mabel, and Elizabeth. With um, Elspeth being a new addition to the Weaver, but each of them has their uh, their loadout of of uh, what they bring to the table. And it doesn't give you the price breakdown here. But when you're in the game, each one of these will have a cost associated with it in coin. So you guys should all be familiar with Weavers that have played the game before. Um, basically, Weavers are in this game, weavers start start being used when you pretty much hit your 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 cap on putting down traps. Unless you're, I mean, I'm sure there you know you could there may have been strategies developed already, or there will be in the future where you may rush some uh, like on uh, Jane, say with like Hogarth, maybe it might be it might be prudent to uh get hard to kill or basic armor really early on to make him even him even tankier and that much tougher in team fights you know that might be a play that is something you might do to to start using the weavers earlier but right now most people don't do weaver upgrades until um most of their traps or their whole or, or their their trap uh cap has been hit so that's weavers and then lastly but certainly not leastly is Minion cards, and now that I'm talking about minion cards, I'll I'll, I'll go back to the uh, the uh, the card inventory number and what it means to uh, be at be at a cap and uh, talk about the jubilatizer. So let's talk about um, level one cards, and th th they've done a good job of organizing these decks in the deck editor. So 
if I'm doing uh, minion cards and I'm only worried about doing level one cards first, you click the uh, Roman numeral Roman numeral one, and it only displays the level level one minion cards you have. And once again, you need to pay attention to that uh, to that inventory number. These roughnecks here, I would if, if I was playing the three la the the uh, three camp map, the three lane map. I would not bring these as my only level one minion cards because I would run out. If we opened up three lanes, I would not have any more level one minion cards to play. So with these, um, you need to have, for the three lane map, you need to have at least three of each level minion cards. And it could be broken up. As you can see, as you level up, you get more slots, so you can have a little bit more variety. But you need to have a total of a total of each level of minion cards based on however many camps there are. So let's say if there was five camps on a map, you would need, you would need to make sure you had five of a level one minion card in your in your in your inventory you're bringing with you. So I would like if I was going to go on a map and I could only bring one level one minion card. I would bring these since I have six and I could then make sure no matter what I would not run out of these so um, with that being said um, we don't know if there's gonna be as of right now three lanes is the most lanes in the game so three is the most you need of any one card before you have to start combining um, certain levels of cards to hit that 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 love that cap of three um, so let's just say I have uh, we're on the three lane map and I have, uh, I want to bring these guys. I only have two, so I know I'm going to need, I'm going to need another, uh, another, some more level one minions. Um, this would be a good opportunity for me to bring these that, 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 so I have to now I have a total of three level one minion cards in my, my match inventory that I'm going to bring with me. My loadout, this is like, this is your loadout inventory. That's a better word for it. Um, or your loadout deck that comes into you into the match. So now I have three level one minion cards. So if we open up three camps, I will have minions in every camp and not without that. I only have minions in two camps. And then one of the camps, I will have no level one minions until we upgrade to level two and ho assuming I have enough level two cards. So, so that, that goes the same for every level of cards. Um, just make sure you have, I would, I would absolutely make sure you bring, Whatever card is going to make you so you have at least three minions to play, no matter what, whatever you know. So no matter what map you get, you have at least three of that level of card to play, so you don't ever not have to play a certain level of minions because you don't have enough of the cards in your inventory. So uh, on my main deck, um, yes, on my main deck, you can see uh, for my level ones. I have uh, the pride. I have these pride lions. This one right here, the the biter snow dog. And as you can see, um, it even up like the traps. Uh, the max it lets you even bring with you is three, because that right now that is the max of that's the max of uh, minion camps. You don't need more than three of any card. So even if you have an overage of that in your actual uh, full deck, you only need to bring three along with you. But when you have less, like um, this card here, which is uh, the, the Sappers, that's the level threes. Um, I only have one of these, so it only shows up one there. So, But for everything else, I and there's one other thing, I, the other level threes, I only have one of this, the Dwarven Bodyguards. Um, but all the rest, I make sure I have enough in each level so I have that total of three cards in each level of minions so i i never have to short my uh my team by not playing upgraded minions by not having cards um that may have gotten a little confusing it probably did my bad i just need to i need to put a weaver here let me put i'll save that <clears throat> so back to the main deck now that i've explained the minions so um yeah, uh, back to this. We'll just show you real quick again. So with all the minions, you're going to bring you know, bring some level 1s. You're going to then bring some level 2s. 
Then you're going to bring some level 3s. And you're going to bring some level 4s. And, I mean, obviously you're not going to arbitrarily just pick them like that. You know, some minions are better than others. Uh, like in the, uh, the level 4 level here, the uh, Armored Ogre is one of the better ones. The uh, Mage Escort's a really good one. So, you know, but a lot of it comes down to preference of what you're going for. If, you, uh, if you're playing someone like... Uh, um, if you're playing Blood Spike, he has a buff that buffs ogres, which so you might want to make sure you bring ogres, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so back to back to the the, the, the general deck. Um, back to the general deck. Um, and all the cards. So back to giblets. So any card, whether it's gear, traps, minions, glyphs. Weavers, when you get to when you get to over over the cap, um, not even even the cap. Like some things like this, like pound, like you may not you may not even need to bring ten pounders. You may only need to bring eight. So you may only want to have eight. So basically, what the jibletizers are going to let you do is you're going to be able to take um, excess cards of what, no matter what they are, and you're going to be able to put them into a grinder. So you're going to have like a, put a card like this into a grinder and it's going to spit out giblets. Okay. Now this, I, I have a basic understanding of how this works because it's not actually in the game yet, but you put a card in, you get giblets out and then giblets are eventually going to be used towards crafting cards. Now I, I don't know if they've, if they've commented on the values, like a thousand giblets equals one card or, or like five thousand giblets equals a card pack. Like they haven't they haven't said like how it's gonna work, um, but basically it's giving you an or or they they also haven't said you know what's uh, you know if if individual cards have a certain giblet um, value associated with them or if it's just gonna go based off of uh, mythical, uh, uncommon, rare, and common is, are gonna have set values. They haven't really said yet, but basically. Your excess cards will be able to be, um, uh, re, you know, be, 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 be reused and repurposed into new cards that you can hopefully use. But that, that being the idea of, uh, all right, you know, I don't need 16 pounders. I can, I can trade six of those in and hopefully get a card that I need or a card that I don't have from those wasted cards uh, in my inventory. So that's the Jibletizer. That's basically all I can all I can, all I even know to touch on right now in the current state of the uh, the dashboard and the and going through your account. Um. So yeah, like even with hero cards, you're gonna be able to like I have multiple midnight, midnights and smolders. You're gonna be able to jibletize those and like I said, a hero a hero card's probably worth more. They have a you know even more special. Uh, her, these are heroic. So you have heroic, mythical, rare uncommon common I, I believe those are the levels of rarity and how they go so uh there may be heroic um traps and gear that are being released that aren't in the game yet who knows that are like just amazing but i can definitely say um you know having like right now tesla curls are really really strong they are a good trap versus um, level three and up troops. You know, the ogres, giants, armored ogres, trolls are very powerful against those big, big heavies. And they're almost, they're almost priceless to, to have. You, you like, you almost need them. So like when you're first starting and not having these, you're definitely at a little bit of an advantage, but I mean, you can make up for playing, being a good player and playing really good defense with the, uh, the default traps that are given to you. Everyone's going to, everyone's given a default loadout to be able to always have meet their trap limit, uh, a piece of gear and you know, all that stuff. But then once you start unlocking other things, you definitely start gaining a little bit, some advantages by playing, um, uh, like the, the teleportation ring. This thing's really good. You know, is it a, is it a game is it a game breaker a game changer to where like this game is being paid pay to win? No, this just acts as 
a, a neat escape. If you're if you're crafty enough, you can use this to get away. Uh, you know, not, not even every time, but this can save your save you from a death every once in a while. It absolutely does not give someone else a complete utter advantage. So so far from what I can see, the game is very much not pay to win. You could definitely get by with default cards and then just work on, you know, leveling up and earning those free booster packs from this uh, this whole thing. You can you earn you can earn a lot of booster packs. Any 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 tile you see here that has the booster pack in it, you get booster packs from it. So as you can see, you do get them. Uh, a good you do get a good bit of them. So um, and you can't see ahead of too far ahead though if you still get them or not until you unlock them. But um, you know you could anyone can definitely move up in, in in their you know in their 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 you know building their deck and and growing their skill set based off of new cards uh, simply by playing they're doing a really good good really good job about that so uh, hats off the robot for keeping it that way and that's pretty much all I have to say about this guys uh, please stay tuned for more tutorial videos and breakdowns of certain things um, Subscribe if you haven't, please. Follow me on Twitch for live streams, Twitter, all that stuff. I have everything linked in my description below. And uh, that'll be it for now, guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.